um, and, and, and that continue, you know, generation after generation. That's something that I take pride in for our gym. You're going to, you know, if you're a fighting gym, you know, you can always want to produce generation after generation. Well, we definitely have a height and length advantage for, uh, for, for Bento. Yeah. You know, fighting out of the blue corner. We're five foot three versus five foot eight. So we have that, that, that shorter fighter that's going to have to find his way inside. We've got that longer fighter. I'm assuming he's going to try to keep it try long. Try to be it long. But again, boy, tell you, swinging the weapons, you never know. Exactly. You never know. Let's hear it for these two. Introducing to you first, fighting out of the blue corner. He stands by the age tall, weighing 141 and a half pounds, out of San Antonio, Texas, representing Ohio Academy. Get it up for Bento! And his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. He stands five feet three inches tall, weighing 139.2 pounds. Out of Scream, Texas, representing Sammy's Muay Thai, Mr. Boy, John Hitchcock. All right, Jacob, here we go. Three rounds, three three-minute rounds. And, you know, what, make, what makes this different than, than stadium fights in Thailand being five rounds? You know, you have a feel-out process, and each round you look for something different. But I think these guys, they may have a slight feel-out process, but for the most part, they're going to blow and go. It's going to go, yeah. And also, it's also part of the experience. That this, uh, when you first start, you kind of go, go out the gate trying to get those first initial punches Let's out the way. Get the yeah, get it going and... And get, uh, get comfortable in there. Absolutely. And I think one of the biggest things that kind of makes you feel at home is that first time you get punched. You're like, oh, yeah. okay. Wakes you up, let you know you're okay. Yeah, you're I'm, I'm you okay. I'm in a fight, but yeah. I'm okay. Yeah, sometimes the biggest, the biggest thing that helps those nerves is getting hit the first time. Wake up. Yeah. <laughs> Wake up or go to sleep. All right, here we go, fight fans. Here we go. Looks like they're waiting on timers or, or, or something like that. I'm blaming it on you, Jacob. Probably is my fault. It is 100% your fault. <laughs> Guys, just want to thank Saloon Door Brewing Company. You know, these fights are, are brought to you by many amazing sponsors that, that contribute to the cause of Texas Muay Thai Championship. And, man, they have the best beer. One of the best contributions is the Kima Suprema. The Kima Suprema, the baby. The Kima Suprema. I love it. I think last time we both got a bit... Uh, a bit tipsy on that Kima Supreme. I definitely didn't think much for me. Well, I probably had like five or six. You had one. You're probably right. I, you know. <laughs> Sam is getting the crowd hyped. Oh, Sam is the nut. Getting, getting the crowd excited. Actually, uh, John, you know, Sammy's got duck sauce and sold a lot of tickets. Sold really? a lot of tickets. Yeah. You hear the support that he has. Yeah. I mean, it's always tough for, for, you know, the visiting fighter, you know, coming from Ohana. You know, being from San Antonio, I mean, a few people may come, but for the most part, you know, he's fighting in somebody else's back. Yeah, you're going to someone else's home. And even though, you know, judging is judging, I don't, I don't foresee any, any kind of issues with that here. No. Just I the think. feeling of, of going to someone else's hometown. Exactly. Here we go. Here we go. Touch the gloves. Start. They go right to it. Yep. Nice teeth there. Good teeth there by Berto. Oh, Berto's. Good. Definitely Duck sauce trying to stay long. Duck sauce comes using his down. lead side a lot. A little Superman punch. Yep. Nice one, two. Switch Good body kick. kick. You can tell Duck sauce really using his, his lead hand and lead lay to kind of find his range. He is. He is. He's, he's bouncing a bit, you know. He's trying to get a little in and out. Berto, once again, trying to stay long. One thing that I see Berto doing is, is he's breaking at the hip and he's losing posture, which is going to make it easier for John to find him. Oh, nice spinning elbow by Jerry. Oh, there. Nice. oh, nice catch and kick. I feel like Berto's using a little more diverse striking weapons. He's, just having, him, he's having a little more success. He's giving, giving Duck Sauce more looks. Absolutely. I mean, he's landing that one-two kind of at will. He's landing that jab right between the guard of, uh, of, of John. So, oh, nice. Good, he's, oh, good little sweep. A little off balance there. Good job. 
Good little uh, high jab feint there. Oh, yeah. Nice low kick. Answer there by Roberto. That jab, once again, very effective. Yeah, the jab's landing, and he's not going to really change that. Oh, we got to be, gotta be careful about that. Yeah. That jab's landing. Yeah. Let's see if he can capitalize on landing that and following yeah. up with a bigger attack. It looks like Burrow's really found John. his range. Yeah, I think he has. John is doing a really great job. He's holding his own nice low kick by Good John. counter. The one thing that I can say is John's letting him control the ring a little bit too much. A couple of knees there, three knees. Four. Tough to see if they're landing, but he is staying active and aggressive. Once again, that jab. The jab has been the most effective strike. Yes. And I think a lot of times, Jacob, you know, it's the art of eight limbs, man. Yeah. And people forget about the hands. You know, Absolutely. they throw these big body kicks, and 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 which is part of Muay Thai. They'll they'll elbow and knee, but the hands always seem to be lacking a bit. But I am seeing a, a little evolution there, yeah. to where they're using a little more Western boxing mixed in with yeah. their with their Muay Thai and that jab. In my opinion, that that kind of solidified that round. He's absolutely the thing too is he's snapping the head back. So, from a judging perspective, Girl. man, even though it might not be doing a ton of damage, it looks pretty bad because the head's getting snapped back. You absolutely. Know? And if anything is letting him control the ring because every time he has his head back, John can't come forward. Exactly. You know, I saw that Burrow did a good job. He used like yeah. dead jabs and his push kick and team kicks yeah. to get his range. Well, John is trying to use that east side hook and then inside low kick. Exactly. He's having a hard time exactly. dealing with the range. Yep. John did a great job. Did a great job. Did a great job. Second round. Did a great job. Inside low kick, back to that jab, right push, back to the jab. Oh, John with a little flurry yeah. there. I like it. The one thing I will say is Burrow really said very, very tall. Yes. So the overhand right from John. Could have been to land. I've seen you knock a lot of people out in tie fights with that overhand being the shorter opponent, man. There's a lot to be said for it. Once again, guys, this is a C-class fight in all props and respect to both of these warriors. But, you know, you're, you're not going to see the technical prowess that you're going to see. Ooh, good. good. And and taking a good counter, though. John is game, buddy. He's he game. is game. He's making he's making Berto work. They're both doing really, really well. So anybody that Sammy's going to put in there, they're going to fight. Absolutely. A little break in the action. And here we go. Inside leg kick. It's back on that jab. I thought I see some, el some elbows coming yeah. here. John needs to do, do what he's doing, strike and counter, but he needs to angle afterwards. He's staying right in front. I so agree. Burrow's able to keep pushing it back. Oh, a little spinning elbow attempt. He's good attempt. It missed. Yeah. John acknowledging his corner's instructions. Yes. Which you know. is it great to look at the corner, but man, I get it. It's, 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 it's good. He's trying to listen. He's listening to yeah. his coaches, which is a great thing. Great thing. Burrow's starting to slow down a little bit, it looks like. Yep. Oh, nice intro. Good. There we go. Good job by John. Yep. Burrow yep. kind of controlling the clinch here, yeah. putting John's back on the rope, which is going to. Stay in the judge. It's going to score. You know, John was trying to throw knees, but his back was on the ropes. And I always emphasize oh, that. Nice. Good hook. Always he missed that first one. He came back with that second one. Always emphasize to our fighters. If your back's on the ropes, first and foremost, get off the ropes. Exactly. Looking for that uppercut there. Inside leg kick to a right hand by Duck Sauce. Good competitive Good. second round. Good. Great job to both young men. Once again, I'm going to go 10 9 uh, for, uh, for Berto on that one. Close round. But, man, I've been wrong before. You have. You have. It's very, very rare, but you have been. No, I completely agree with you. Another good round for Berto. But John is hanging in there. He's coming back. He had some success in that round that he didn't have in the first round. He started finding himself, you know. So me as a coach in that corner, I'm going to always think that we are or at least conveyed to the fighter. We're down two. So he's going to have to – I think he's going to have to really finish Gotta this go. fight or give us a couple of standing eights or something. Well, that's not going to – yeah, he needs to finish this. Yeah, fight. yeah, he needs to do something. And like I said, it's not their own, their own possibility. I think John looks fresher. Yeah. Uh, Burrow stands tall. John's to throw those big right hands. Yeah, he's going to be looking to finish. finish. Yes, finish. he has a chance. Yeah, he's going to damage. He's going to come out throwing with with bad intentions. All right, round three, third and final round. Both fires be in the middle and start swinging. In the middle and go at it. Yeah.
Wait, it's I board. really like how John counters every chance. Oh, 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 beautiful spinning, spinning elbow. elbow. It, it, spinning elbow to the left hook. Really good job. Yeah. Oh, and another one. Yeah. Dude, he's, I, I'm telling you, he's looking for that finish. He is. He's leaving everything out. He knows he's down. Absolutely, and I love to see that. Yeah. Good left kick. That is a score. It's so hard at this point to fight. You know you're down, and you need to give that last bit of energy to uh, make something happen. You just don't have a lot in there. A hundred percent, man. You know, your, your legs, your arms, your shoulders still like weigh a thousand yeah. pounds. You're like fighting in quicksand. Good, right, right, man. Good job. Posture's broken there. Posture's broken. One, two there, looking for the head kick, missing. John coming right back. I like this John kid, man. He's game, buddy. He's throwing. And like I said, oh, those right like hands are, they're just missing the mark, and those leg kicks are so nice. He's, he's not having this so well. enough. Uh, he's having obviously some issues with that range. But man, I'm really, oh, hey. Another oh, beautiful spinning I'm elbow. I'm really excited to see both of their growth and evolution yeah. in this sport. I'm sure they'll be on a future Texas Championship. Oh, program. they'll probably be on everyone. Yeah. Man. This is a great fight to start yeah, the night off. What with. a great way to start the fight off. Man, I could have swore I heard a 10 second mark earlier. It's too much fun to let him go. Yeah, right? Oh, there's that overhand right we were talking about. There's the there 10 second mark. Trevor spinning elbow again. Yep. All right. Great first fight out. That's a great first fight. Competitive fight. Both young men leaving it all out in the ring. Sure, and respect. this is what I love about the art of Muay Thai. Giving each other a lot of love and respect. Absolutely. Yeah. And we've said before, one thing that we love about Muay Thai. Hey, bro, what's your what's your record? No. How many fights? How many fights you have? Because it's, it, it's the experience that we're getting that really matters. Yeah. And you have to respect. I mean, Muay Thai is one of the most brutal sports, combat sports there is. You have to respect anyone who's willing to get in there and, and, and do this. Absolutely. So, judges, scorecards are being turned in. Houston, Texas, while we're getting your phone. Let's get you some more. Let's get you some more. I want to thank our sponsor, Saloon Door Brewing, and Advanced Analysts and Associates. This wouldn't be possible without these amazing sponsors that we have, Jacob. Oh, yeah. I love that we've had consistent sponsors, too, throughout the, the life of, of us doing this, you know? Exactly. Exactly. Shows they really it support the art, the sport, and, and, and want to invest in it. 100%. Man, we always get cowboyed out, which is kind of who we are. But, man, that's pretty clean. The suit? St. John, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's his, his, his get up, man. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a big fan of that suit. I like it. I like the shoes. His shoe, I was going to say the shoes are nice. I'd, too. Still, I'd still say he's cooler if he was in boots. Yeah. Boots make everything. Boots and a hammock, everyone cooler. Boots are very cool, man. They are cool. Throw them hot? No, whenever they now. When I was a kid, I had a man tell me that a good hat will make any man look better. He was right. He was right. He was right. I'm pretty ugly, but I look kind of cool in a hat, man. All right, here we go for the yes. official decision. Our first judge for the fights, 29, 28. We're very you. Our second judge scores the battle, 29, 28. And our third judge scores the about 28 to 28 for a split decision draw. Wow, we have a draw. I did not see that coming, but hey, I did not. That's why we're announcing and not judging. Exactly. That's why we 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 have our own rules. Yeah, I'd like to pick the the judge's brain. I would I would love to ask whoever scored a ten eight where the ten eight was. Yeah, me too. I didn't quite see that. I didn't either. 